ready for our boxing sessions. Wraps on hands, gloves, let's do this. All right, I'm wrapping my hands. If you are ready, you're already starting with the shadow box. Today, we're going to be doing supersets. Supersets with the punches and supersets with bosu ball. So one set will be punch and one set will be a bosu ball abdominal workout. So we're gonna be working on the core with a lot of stability. So get that bosu ball handy, set it up next to you because you're gonna need it, okay? So let's do the warm up, active stretching. Let's do this. So we're gonna start with light jog and right arm rotation. I like to put my other hand right here so I can feel it. Tyson is joining me. Who is joining you? Who's joining us right now? That's like a pendulum, boom. Boom, forward, boom, boom, and switch. Left arm forward. Nice big rotation, right here. Keep on going, nice big rotation. Who is with us? Left arm is going, left arm is going. Yes, yes, yes. How is everybody doing on Monday? Are we doing good? Are we doing good? So even if you don't have the equipment, even if you do not have, even if you do not have, the bosu ball, don't you worry, we're gonna show you modifications. Just camera, just move a little bit. I wanted to make sure that it's, it's good. So you are warming up with your left shoulder. Now we're gonna go both arms as we running in place, running in place. Both arm rotation, forward, forward, forward. Nice big rotation forward, yes. Now we're gonna go head, front and back, front and back, on your own, without helping your hands, just front and back. If you want, you can even walk, front and back, and now side to side. So towards your shoulder, don't lift the shoulder towards your head, just head down, center, head down, center. Who is with us? Barbara, hello, yes. All right, jogging in place, in and out. Crisscross your arms as you're jogging in place. Crisscross your arms. Big open up. Open up your chest. So it comes to a stretching point. Now the arms goes up and down. Just like that. Up and down. Jog in place. Jog in place. And let's get ready to a position. We're going to start with just left leg forward, right leg behind. A little shuffle forward, shuffle back. That's it, what I want you to do, okay? Shuffle forward. Shuffle back. Just keep on shuffling, okay? I'm gonna adjust that bag so we are ready. A little final little switches. Keep on going. Shuffle forward, shuffle back. I wanna make sure that you guys will be seeing me. Keep on shuffling. Front and back. I think that's gonna be perfect. Keep on shuffling. I don't know why some people are not shuffling when I say shuffle. Shuffle is shuffle, front and back. Shuffle. Boom. Shuffle, there you go, we're gonna front, boom, punch, cross, shuffle forward, one, shuffle back, two, and again, jab, boom, straight from the chin, cross, body across, boom, now two, now shuffle forward, show me three, left hook, shuffle back, show me four, right hook, shuffle forward, left upper, boom, shuffle back, Right upper, and again, forward, jab, straight from the chin, shuffle back, cross, shuffle forward, left hook, got it? Shuffle back, right hook, boom, shuffle forward, left upper, shuffle back, right upper, and again, forward, jab, back, cross, forward, left hook, back, right hook, forward, left upper, back, right upper, and again, I wanna see it, boom, jab, cross, hook. Remember on those hook, your whole body is turning. Back, right hook, forward, left upper, back, right upper. And I want you to hit just jumping jacks, just here. Pop your jacks, right here, light on your feet. Hands in front, just like that. Now switch to run in place, a little higher than before. Pump those legs a little higher. Back to front 
and back jumping jacks now. Front and back. Front and back. And time. We're going to walk forward. Quad stretch. Quad stretch. Fold for two, three seconds. Quad stretch. And again, quad stretch. Now we're going to go backward walk with a hamstring stretch. We know this one. Step back. Hamstring stretch. Step back. Hamstring stretch. Now walk forward. Knee tap. Walk forward. Knee tap. Walk forward, knee tuck, and again, forward, knee tuck. Now we're gonna walk across, back, but we're gonna hold our arms across. Hold it, open up your chest, hold it. Open up your chest, hold, and open up your chest, and hold. And again, we're gonna step forward, quad, 20 tuck. Step forward, quad, 20 tuck. Repeat a few more times. I wanna see a good quad stretch. When you're staying in place, pushing your hips forward. Now tucking that knee up and out towards the shoulder. And then bend your knee, boom, right here. And then tuck that knee up towards the shoulder. Yeah, pull, pull it in. Really, really strong. Now I want you to hit the regular jumping jacks for me. Full jumping jacks, full. Jump on your feet, light on your feet. Light on your feet. Just like that, perfect. Stretch it. Final sip before we start. Final sip. My water will be near me. Get that bosu ball. If you don't have a bosu, you're gonna be doing the same exercises as we are on the bosu. I'm putting my gloves on. Your gloves are on. And we're gonna start. Listen up. This is how it's gonna go. We're gonna start with one. One. You're gonna shuffle, then one, two, then you shuffle, then one, two, three, then you shuffle, then one, two, three, four, then you shuffle back, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you're gonna start. So each time you're gonna come to that back, you're gonna add any of your punches, punches that from one to six. So cross, then hook, then right hook, then left upper, then right upper. If this is too complicated for you, each round, you're gonna stick to a single punch. So the option is just to throw in a jab for that whole 30 seconds. And then just working on your two, okay? But if not, you're staying with us, we're starting. Those are 30 seconds round, we gotta go fast. It's a lot of them. I'm hitting the clock, you're going. Let's do this. So again, jab, one, two, boom, then one, two, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. And back to the beginning. Yeah. One, two. Say it in your head. Hold those numbers. So maybe it's easier for you to stay focused. Okay? Perfect. Right here. We're gonna stay with our feet on the booster ball in a low plank position. Right here. Feet on top. If not, you just stay. On the floor. Stay on the floor if you don't have a bolsu ball. Feet on the bolsu if you have this. Nothing on the floor if you don't. Just hold it there. We're gonna be alternating those rounds. We're gonna be alternating those rounds. One time will be feet. One time will be arms. Okay? Elbows in line with your forearms. Feet on top of the bolsu. Strong hold. Let it be up. About 10 seconds just to stretch, just to loosen up. Back again. One, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Jab. Jab cross. One, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Let's do it. Boom. Boom, boom. Come on. Don't forget. Where you are, you gotta stay concentrating. Come on, come on. On the same bosu ball. Now, your hands will go on top of the bosu ball and you're gonna be doing outside knee tuck. So, 
if you do not have a bolso ball, you just gonna stay on the floor and do the same, okay? Just outside knee taps. First was low plank, this one is outside knee tap. We're gonna be rotating those through throughout the whole round, but we do not change the punches. The punches remain the same throughout the whole time. Just take those abs, stay strong, shake it. That 10 seconds is for you. And let's do it again. Ready? Jab. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Attack. And again, boom. Pop in your head. You're adding a punch each time. Again, I show it here. Jab. One, two. Then one, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Both to ball, feet on, low plank. Hit it. Low plank. We stay in the low plank position. Feet on top of the both to ball. You're not doing knee tucks. Feet on the ball. Feet on top of the ball. Now, you don't have a ball, so you're just gonna be holding that plank. Unless you have a disc or something that is unstable, and you can just use it for this exercise. Okay, I want you to engage your quads really well. Because this is a lot, this is a lot of holds here. Let's do it. Boom, jab. One, two, strong. One, two, three, power. One, two, three, four, power. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Again, jab. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. And in each punch each time. So then you start it from a single one. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Back to our head plank. Now feet. Now hands on top of the bolster, right? Right in the center. And we're gonna be doing those knee tucks. Awesome. This is our fourth time. Tuck it in. Slow, control. Okay? Some of you that are starting, you might not be able to do knee tucks. It's okay. Just hold that plank, that's it. Holding a plank, maybe even higher off the floor, on the couch, will be another way to modifying the exercise, getting it easier. Back up, back up. Gonna get ready. Back to our one. And one, two. And one, two, three. Let's do it. Jab, come on with me. One, two. Then one, two, three. Again. One, two, three, four. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now one again. Boom. I just showed you how to do it. Back to your plank. We have two more like this, okay? Feet on the bosu. Low plank position. Come on, go. Low plank, elbows in line. Stay stable. Strong glutes, strong abs. Don't sink down, don't go like this. Lift, hold, tight. Again, that's a reset. 
boom. Hold it, squeeze it. Dicey, you can just hold, okay? You don't need to do knee tax if you can't. Always modification if you have to. So you see, I'm driving the knee up, out, okay? Hands in line with my shoulders. I'm not shifting the weight. I'm not going backwards. I'm right directly here. The center of gravity. I am perfectly aligned. Squeezing. And time. Shake it. We're going to have 30 seconds break when we drink because we're going all out in those rounds. So next one. High plank with feet on and high plank hands on both two. Regular knee tap. So actually we're gonna do high plex both times. Shake it. We're starting with now two. I'm gonna show you disregard the sound. Ready? Let's do it. Two. Then two, three. Then two, three, four. We're starting with the right side. Then two, three, four, five. Then two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. So we're starting with the right side on the back, right? So we started with the left. Now the whole round, round is with your right. Practice this with me. Again, two. Remember, my two looks like the other side, the left side. That's my two. That's my cross. That's my right. Two. Two, three. So it's cross hook. Then cross hook, hook. Then cross hook, hook, upper. Then cross hook, upper, and upper. Let's do it. On the back. Now we're going to go all out heavy or you don't have a bag, you're sticking with the shadow boxing. Move around the house. Two, power. Two, three. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. Back to the beginning. Can 
shuffle more. You can shuffle less. You remember? Now we are feet on the bosu. Feet on the bosu. Just holding that plank. When you have a bosu ball, I want you to really connect. Feel how those quads are shaking. The ball of your feet are right on top of the dome. Quads are engaging, but it's so much work. So much work here required. So much work. Feels awesome. Just to hold that position. Back is straight. Shake it, and again, each second, you can literally can do a even quick quad stretch. Just shake, just loosen up, okay? Boom, because you're going with all attack and force. Use those brakes wisely. Don't drop your hand when you punch it. Sweat. Let me know what you're drinking for your 
for your pre-workout. I have my mixture here. Without beverage mix today, I didn't need to. So you see how you can flap things around. Sometimes you don't need, sometimes you need. All right, we're gonna be hitting side planks. Side planks. And we're gonna hit a new, new combination. So get ready. Disregard the sound. First, we're gonna learn. We're gonna start with six. Ready? Right up. Six. Six, five. Six, five, four. You're adding a punch. Then six, five, four, three. Then what? Six, five, four, three, two. Then what? Six, five, four, three, two, one. 17 seconds for you to practice. Boom. Boom, boom. On your own. Boom, boom, boom. You know it. We're going from six to six, five to six, five, four, all the way to number one. So you stay for the 30 seconds, adding those punches, easy. And then we're gonna be working with those side planks on a bolsa ball, both, both sides. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Six, six, five, six, five, four, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, two, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Again, boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. All effort. Let's do this. We're gonna start with our forearm on the floor, feet on the bosu, sideways. Now, this is a side plank. Elbow is in line with the shoulder, hip, just like this. Advanced option is to hold this arm up. You gotta push off that shoulder, that right shoulder that is on the floor, okay? Now, if you can't do this, you would keep your knees bent on the floor and you would just do this, okay? Let's do it. Six, six, five. Ready? Strong. All out. yourself off that ground. Elbow should be in line with your shoulder. In line with your shoulder. Ah. Hard, right? 
Good. Good job. Shake it. Six, six, five. Waiting. Come on. Six, five, four, three. You might be somewhere else than I am. You might be ahead of me or behind me. But again, let's do it. Six together. Six, five. You know it. Six, five, four. I know that you know it. Six, five, four, three. Six, five, four, three, two. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You see how nicely we added it? Easy. Easy. Easy, but hard. Push it. Squeeze it. Tighten up. Up, up, up. We are up in the sky. Push up that left elbow, left shoulder. Squeeze your left side that is closer towards the floor. Breathing, holding. I showed you notification. Remember, if you cannot accomplish something, don't just give up and turn off the screen. Just do modification. The whole point is to accomplish the whole workout. Just keep on trying. Keep on trying your best each time. Today, when Yvonne had a class in the morning, I listened to the teacher such a simple things, but that's how they teach the kids, but we forget about this. They teach the kids not to be afraid of failure. Because failure is, is how we learn. So, just remember to do your best each time, right? And that's what we gotta remember this, that we just gotta try each time. And not be afraid of something that we don't know we can't do. Because one day, this thing that you couldn't do, you, you are able to do. And that's how we learn. Everybody can learn anything. We can learn it, everything. We can learn it all. It's just without anxiety, being calm, being focused, doing our best, performing at our best. And that's it. Welcome to change. Boom. Let's do it. My friends, the freaks in the house. Pack it because this is your last one. Two, one, and then a reset. Five, 
Four. It's gonna be push and hold. Push and hold. One arm's on it. Squeeze that left side that is closer towards the floor. Oh yeah. You might be doing this on the floor. Again. Come on. Lift up. Start with your left. Ready? Five. Five, four, attack. Five, four, three. Five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Five. Five, four. Five, four, three. Five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Hands up. Five. Five, four. Turning. Those turns. Hips. Hips. The whole body is turning. Don't stay sick. Okay? You got to turn your whole body. Put your whole body behind the punch. Now, if you do not have a bolster ball, what I want you to do, I want you to do a plank walk on the floor because you shouldn't be doing identical exercises. So with no bolster ball, do a plank walk so you have a little bit variety unless you really want to. So follow us. This one is a little bit different. Watch your shoulder. Forearms has to be on that ball. Take that side in. Squeeze the side that is closer towards the floor. Right arm is right side. Okay? Up. Let's do this. Shake it. Five. Five, four. Five. Five, four. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. Like the whole body is flying behind that punch. You gotta give it all. Feels good, right? Feels good. Back to the left. Give you a second to set up. So take your time, but try to be on time. Remember, the arm up is optional. If it bothers you, reset for a second, find that good spot, and go again. Okay? Safe, safety is first, always. Okay, if something bothers you, just shake it, try it again. If it bothers you, don't do it. And immediately send us a message here. Okay, you need notification. And I'm gonna make sure that nobody's sending any messages. So we can view it immediately, okay? If you need modification or something, let us know. you 
on a punch today. Who do you want to punch today? Come on, Tracy. Left side. Remember, shoulders bother you. You can do modification. This will ease out that shoulder, guys. Or if elbow, stay in a side plank position high plank. That's another form. That's another way. But do, do it on the floor if you have to. Okay? That's another uh, uh, way. My elbow felt it. <laughs> just gonna modify this one for a little bit. But if you don't, you just stay in. Okay? We gotta listen to our bodies. We gotta listen to what they tell you. Okay? They show you all these different signs. So, be patient with it, be good. But work it hard.
yeah, low plank. Feet on the bow So Remember, you don't have a bow. You do it exactly the same thing what we are doing here, just on the bow, on the floor. Now we're gonna do that Brazilian knee tap across right here. So dig in. Now you would be doing it on the floor. Elevate your feet on the couch, please. Or something a little higher, so we're gonna have more room. Because with low plank, we don't have that much room on those knee tucks. We don't have that much room on those knee tucks, so we gotta make that room. Let's do it. Jab, boom, jab, and hook, pivot. Jab, no pivot, hook, pivot. Uppercut going right into that chin. Powerful cross pivot. Pivot on your right hook. Keep your hands up, don't drop them. Awesome job, right here, high plank. Shake it, high plank. Right here. Brazilian. Boom. Across. Squeeze across. Take your time. Back is straight. Back is straight. This was only third, so halfway through we have three to go.
elbows in line with your shoulders. Slow. Take your time. Feeling good, feeling good. Two, single one. Two, two, four. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, one. Two, four, six, one, three. Two, four, six, one, three, five. Cross pivot, cross hook. Cross, hook, upper. Cross, hook, upper jab. Back 
to this guy. Arms on top. Boom. So I'm holding position. Always lift me. Squeeze it. Lift it. Lift it. One leg at a time. Little lift. Little lift. Oh yeah. Hold it. Squeeze it. to go off the ball so off the punches come on two two four attack two four six two four six one two four six one three two four six one three two four six one three five as is attacking the bar like crazy you can see his arm swinging there Again, again. Those squats work nice here, right? I hope you felt them as much as I did. All right, ready? Let's do it. Final, final. Two. Remember, two, four. Two, four, six. Wind up. Two, four, six, one. Two, four, six, one, three. Two, four, six, one, three. The other stay, hand stays in, it has to. Protect it, protect your face. You never know who is hiding behind the corner. You gotta be prepared for the attackers. Back straight, back straight, left. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. And time. This was awesome, Eric, Laura, Barbara. Did you all do it? How was it? <laughs> thumbs up. Tyson's thumbs up. 
All right, you're gonna remove your dolls, shake it. We're gonna stretch it. We're gonna stretch the arms and the legs as well. If you have a bolster ball, you can use it for your stretch. That can be used awesome for the front shoulder stretch, okay? The interior side, right here. If you're gonna put it against the, against the bag, I'm gonna turn off the clock so it's not gonna disturb us. Right here, boom. So you're gonna place your hand against it. You're gonna put a little pressure. You can do it also in the corner of your door, the same way. You, it's just about pressure, stretching, right there. We're gonna do it on both sides, okay? We gotta stretch the shoulders. Now we're gonna hold the bag. If you don't, if you don't have the bag, what you can do, you can hold against the wall, place your hands, and push your head through it. That's it. Right this. Push your hands against the bag. There you go, right there. Put that head through. Good, that is awesome to strengthen your calves. So let's do this. Heel is down, toes is, toe is up. If you don't have a bag, you can do against any wall, anything. So with the calf stretches, you want those toes to be up. Heel is down, you wanna lean forward. Don't do ballistic movements ever in stretches because you cause muscle contraction. And what happens is instead of the muscle get elongating and working on that length, you're gonna contract it. A lot of people go like this, which is wrong. So toes are up, heel is down, calmly, quietly. Boom, hold it, breathe. Ease into that stretch. It feels good. I feel like my fibers are stretching. Awesome. Let's use bolsa ball for stretch. Okay, if you don't have a bolsa ball, identical as exercises applied on the floor. The only difference is that we have a little instability here, okay? So look, you're gonna place your right knee on a bolsa ball and left leg goes forward. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put all your weight forward, push your all weight forward. So by doing this, we're opening up the hip flexors, okay? Hip flexors use any kicks, knees, squats. We use hip flexors all the time. Today there was a lot of hip flexors, so maybe we didn't do squats, but holding a position like this, what involves the core, all the section in your hips, it's all hip flexors. So you wanna stretch them, you wanna be good to them, you wanna have them nicely stretched, good. And we're gonna, look, shift that weight, I'm right here, and I'm going to the other side, boom, I'm on the other side. So knee is kind of a little bit lower than the center, I'm gonna push my hips forward. Nice big 90 degree angle here. Push it forward. Stretch the other side of the hip flexor. Very nice. And we're gonna reset. We're gonna stay right here. So look, feet are wider. I want you to touch the floor. Feet are wide, touch the floor, right there. Keep your legs fully extended. I want your hands to be flat on the ground. You can't keep them flat. Maybe you have a stool or yoga blocks, okay? They're great because they, they give you that extra length so you can actually do that. I want those hamstrings to be stretched out right now. Hold that position. And now slowly move your feet a little center. Bend yourself and slowly roll up, slowly. All right, clap it, shake it, give it a high five, awesome like this. Barbara says it was great. Thank you, my pleasure, you're welcome. I hope you, your husband, your whole family is doing good, great. Laura, Eric, whoever is replaying those sessions later, guys, those sessions are fantastic, you know it. So it really it doesn't matter where we are. This is the same concept. Peak is the same concept. We created the sessions, they're always different. They fat burning, they high intensity for you to get the maximum results. So the, the, the final results gonna be the same no matter where you are. Just you need to put your time into your calendar. 
okay and you're not gonna win the world if you're not gonna win your mindset okay so you gotta do this you gotta do this you gotta put it on the schedule saying I don't have time it's one of the strongest excuses people have and it's and you when you hear yourself saying this I have no time it almost sounds ridiculous so don't say this that you don't have the time make the time everybody we all have 24 hours a day we all can be successful in fitness we all can look good we all have the same we were given the same things at all all of us the same things the same time but then you gotta work with them and you're gonna plan and put it into work uh, with consistency of eating and it's gonna save you time later in the beginning it might sound like a hard work it might feel like you're doing more than everybody else that you kind of uh, spending more time but once this is grounded and down Oh boy, this is gonna be fast and smooth. So do it today. Don't have excuses that you can't work out because this program can get you fit in an elevator space. That's what you need. All right, Tyson was working out with me. He was awesome. Involve your kids today. Get them on point. Get them on the program with you. Have fun with them. Tyson, you are soaking wet. His hair are sticking out like this, soaking wet. Can you can you show yourself and say goodbye to Peak Freaks? Look at his little head. How how wet it is. No! Ah! No excuses. The whole neighborhood heard it, and that's how we wake up everybody with this. All right, guys, have an awesome day and no excuses.